Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I just wanted to um, go through a scenario that I just went through trying to set up my Canon EOS. Um, it is the Rebel T5 um, and uh, I had an issue with one of my uh, Ultra 4, uh, 4K uh, SD cards. Now this one I right hear is a, I don't know, for me I think it's a very rare card. Um, the reason being is because it's got 300 uh, megabytes per second. Uh, it is a 32 gigabyte. It is a class two uh, SDHC card, um, 2000 times faster writing. Um, and for capturing uh, ultra high definition photos and videos, um, you really can tell the difference because of the, the type of memory that you have. If you have a slow memory, um, typically it's gonna be pixelated um, once you blow the picture up even larger. Um, and it's just really on how fast it's able to write thousands of megapixels or pixels or only hundreds of pixels. Um, and so, and once the image is instilled on the memory card, that's the last chance that you get of putting pixels into the image. So think of it like that. Um, the MBS, right 300 mbs typically you'll find um, only a hundred mbs um, is about your average highest um, and i got this one here 300 mbs and it's made by Alexa. Uh, this is not a promotional ad for them i'm not sponsored by them um, but uh on the back you'll notice that it has all these extra cards flipping this little switch right here um, whether it's down uh, if it's down like that um, it is on uh, copyright protected, so it will not be able to um, uh, delete photos. It must be up in order for it to delete photos and stuff like that. So, um, one issue that I had um, on my MacBook Pro here, you'll see it's right there, MacBook Pro. Okay, so when I inserted um, this card here, it would pop up that it was trying to, you know, I was having this right here. Um, but then when I went to go and um, erase, okay, um, I had it in um, XFAT. Um, and my, my camera did not like that. Um, it kept saying, unable to read card, please reformat or resert new card, um, unable to read. So what I did was um, you can put it down here in the MS-DOS, select MS-DOS every time that you're going to use these cards on other cameras except for, um, it's the most acceptable um, pretty much all over. So once you do that, erase, um, erase process failed. Okay, so I mean, because it, there's nothing there um, is the reason why it did that. Um, you can also, extended in you know extended journal right now is where it's at um but pretty much that's where i want it and um when i was able when i was um it was in a different name and it wasn't allowing me to rewrite so what i did was as you saw right there it was not allowing me to rewrite so if i go um just kind of go ray two and it'll i'm changing it slightly i'm just adding it a two and you'll see that um well, there's nothing really there. So erase process failed, click done to continue. Um, so if there was something there, uh, you could see that uh, it was, it would, it would write. So now I just kind of put this back in here, go back and click on it again. And this time try to erase and reformat. So let's go to MS-DOS, okay, fat, um, and then see if it allows me to erase this time um yeah it's not letting me erase so um but anyway so just renaming your card um should allow you to uh continue to do so um i had actually not been able to capture this on camera but um yeah so when you're here and you want to re erase just rename your card see the renaming didn't work anyways so if i erase in mac os extended journal um, it, it'll still say, you know, error because it's not able to do it and then it'll um, dismount the card. Um, 
But anyway, so that's how you do that. And then once you put it back into your camera, you see mine is off here. Let me try to do this with one hand. Um, once you go to put this back in, you should hear it click. There we go. Okay, so now turning it on, you'll see it actually works. If it has a uh, unable to read thing here, so right here, I'll just take a few pictures. All right, so there's the front of the computer. Now it's saved. I'll shut it off. I'll flip this back down because it pops up whenever it wants. Disconnect that, pop that out. Now I got something on here that I might be able to delete. So now let's say if your computer, if you have this uh, memory card slot over here on the side, um, again, Ray will pop up, which is the name of the card. Um, renaming it to, let's say, Ray2, um, and I want to reformat it to MS-DOS. So once I... <laughs> well, that's not very good. Um, so let's say if I go back here and I want to... Maybe it's not going to let me do that one. I think it might have been journaled, actually. Click and continue race process okay um, but anyway so it should it should have it but it's like it's got almost nothing on it except for just that one um, video thing so if I first aid process complete run first aid on it and then if you're having that issue then of course you can type in um, camera one and just change the name completely and then it should go through <laughs> it is kind of tricky as you can see um, definitely having issues with this uh, memory card functioning the way it's supposed to um, so if we put it into um, MS DOS process failed see it it's just it's having this issue but when you run the first um, process and you want to um, delete the camera uh, delete the memory off the um, using disk utility um, and the way you get to disk utility is just by simply um, pressing up here on the top right corner you'll see that uh, um, that little spy camera there so just press on that type in the bar disk so now i've been able to erase it wow how did you do it oh okay you want to know the secret don't plug it in straight to the computer you have to use a card reader such as either something like this or um pretty much anything else just make sure you have a card reader do not plug the memory card directly into the um, outlet source, which is right there. Do not plug it in directly there. Use a card reader. So plug this into the card reader. Um, very, very cheap and very effective. So using a uh, USB router or USB uh, plug-in um, with a card reader. It's got multiple. It's got micro SD and full SD, uh, regular size SD. So you want to pop this inside of backwards this inside of this making sure that it's uh, securely in there um, putting the USB right in come on one-handed yeah okay so then it'll pop up Ray right and then I want to go up here and erase um, and I'm going to rename it Ray 2 this time I'm going to um, select MS-DOS FAT, okay, and then I'm going to erase. And now it should say erase successful, process is complete. So if you're having that issue like what I just had in the beginning of the video, um, you might want to try renaming 
So renaming your uh, memory card, if you're having an issue and the format's not switching, simply renaming. And then also, uh, if it's not allowing you to rename it using a card reader such as this. I hope this video helps. Please comment down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, it's actually below the video onto the side. It shows exactly how many subscribers I currently have. Should be a thousand plus. Um, and um, please, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, today it was also, again, on the MacBook Pro, as you can see there. Okay? So um, please make sure you comment down below. Um, subscribe. And uh, thanks for supporting the channel. I also do a lot of other content. Um, besides this, but I hope that this right here was a very helpful tutorial. Um, it was driving me crazy until I figured it out. So thanks for watching, guys. And until next time.